And I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17 year old. The House is a rough and rowdy place, but Mike Johnson is going to be just fine. I served 20 years in the military. It's my absolute honor to be in Congress, but I served with some real scumbags. Look, uh, uh, Matt Gates, uh, he paid uh, minors to have sex with them at drug parties. Damn! I mean, you know how the saying goes, get called a creep who has paid to have sex with a minor once by your own party member. Shame on you. Get called it twice and even more so a quote, scumbag live on air again by another fellow Republican. Shame on you again. Because okay. you were ousted because you tried to work with Democrats to keep the country from defaulting and to make what spending cuts you no, could. No, that's what the press writes. That's not why I was Well, saying. okay, so you're going to say it's all because of Matt Gates. What exactly did he do as far as the House but ethics Matt, investigation? Look at, I, I don't want to get all this, but Matt came to me. Matt has an ethics complaint. And if you watch ABC News, apparently I'm not a liar, it's true, about he has a challenge with, what, with a minor and paying her money. Uh, it was it was asked, put into place in ethics more than before I ever became speaker. He wanted me to stop the ethics challenge. I wouldn't. Uh, he paid uh, minors to have sex with them at drug parties. Bob Good endorsed my opponent, a known neo-Nazi. These people used to walk around with white hoods at night. Now they're walking around with white hoods in the daytime. <laughs> It's a new week and the Republican infighting is now long surpassed the championship rounds. In fact, yeah, we're into rematch territory as the split between ultra MAGA and those who claim not to be ultra MAGA, but then of course vote for the authoritarian MAGA candidate becomes even greater. I think every American in this country sh should be furious. This is the third betrayal by Mike Johnson. Prioritize center-right Americans' priorities, never. And that's where we've ended up again. It's a slap in the face to America. Is he showing that he's out of his element here? Well, what, he, what he's showing is that, he, that, in my humble opinion, we are allowing Chuck Schumer to run the House of Representatives. And to me, that's very disturbing. I called him Tubby, it sounds like. Uh, actually, I said uh, Kick Rocks Tubby, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason being, Matt Gates is a bully. Mm -hmm. Chip Boy's a bully. Bob Good's a bully. And the only way to stop a bully is to push back hard. The, the majority of the majority, the vast majority of the majority, is sick and tired of these high school antics. The only thing I gleaned from it is that Mr. Van Orton is not a particularly intelligent individual. After the House passed the foreign aid package over the weekend, Marge was up in arms, while the likes of Lauren Boebert reprimanded Democrats for flying Ukraine flags. So, for those keeping count, by the way, the ultra MAGA folks are up in arms at this, but have no problem with insurrectionists breaking into the Capitol ripping down those sacred flags and wiping fecal matter on those very walls. This is different. They're angry on a whole nother level. And, and here's what really worries me. They're done with the Republican Party. And you also uh, talk about uh, decorum. You talk, you're talking about January 6th. Uh, you know, Ms. You know, uh, Ms. Green, I was there with you when we went to the Janu January 6th jail. And when you were hugging high-fiving, uh, uh, talking to, and providing so much comfort and joy to the insurrectionists that attacked our capital. And you were in, in insurrectionists that attacked our capital. You were, you were hugging and giving them all the support. Mr. That Chairman, you, the you gentleman like has the time. Uh, stop the clock. Chair recognizes Mr. Garcia. Like to continue yeah, my three my, minutes and 50 seconds. But if this shit show of a party wasn't already laid bare for Americans to see, Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez went on CNN to make sure that everyone is aware of the scumbaggery walking the halls, focusing specifically on one creep in particular, a creep who bears a striking resemblance to a certain cartoon character since rejuvenated thanks to an SNL skit. Unhinged way. So, I mean, where are you on whether or not you would support a motion to vacate at this moment? Well, I didn't support one when I woke up this morning. So do you support one now? We got, a, we got more time in the day. What do you think of just in general no, about his... No, I, let, let me clarify that. I think a motion to vacate um, is, is something that could put the conference in peril. And Ms. Mm -hmm. Bobert and I 
we're working to avoid that. Our goal is to avoid a motion to vacate. Uh, it was it was asked, put into place in ethics more than before I ever became speaker. He wanted me to stop the ethics challenge. I wouldn't. So he he got some other people who didn't vote for me, eight people, and partnered with all the Democrats to remove me. He will survive. Look, the House is a rough and rowdy place, but Mike Johnson is going to be just fine. I served 20 years in the military. It's my absolute honor to be in Congress, but I served with some real scumbags. Look, uh, uh, Matt Gates. Uh, he paid uh, minors to have sex with him at drug parties. And this, as I said, is nowhere near the first time that Matt Gates has found himself under scrutiny. Just recently, Kevin McCarthy spilled more of the already aged beans on the matter. Does he deny the testimony that the ethics committee has been given about what was said? Does he deny he came up to me to try to influence me? Does he deny he told other people, even from your same network, to call me about it? I, I don't know if all these people are liars. I don't believe that to be true. I know what transpired. Even if you look at Byron Donaldson's latest quote this week. Byron, Byron Donaldson, yeah, Lord of the Flies. Was, yeah, that Matt yeah. Gate, what Matt Gates did has broken the Republican majority. He's now created Lord of the Flies. In the oh, negotiations. Oh, oh, I did. Okay, okay is that let's get to the bottom of that. Right? That, no, no, that no, no, is no, no, such no. a misnomer right. in life. Let me give you the truth about that now. And I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person a member of Congress wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal and I'm not going to get in the middle. Did he do it or not? I don't know. But an ethics is looking at it. There's other people in jail because of it. And he wanted me to influence. And the thing is, before you respond with what I'd imagine anyone with a shred of decency would, is how the hell is this man still in office? Oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I mean, this, oh, everyone thinks you're crazy. I don't think you're crazy. People think you're a pedophile. I don't think you're a pedophile at all. I don't think he's a pedophile at all. The charges against him are totally false. They're totally false. Oh my God. Let's keep in mind who the current Republican frontrunner is, shall we? Yes, that man nodding off while on trial for paying hush money to an adult film star he allegedly had an affair with. It's a shame, it's a shame. And I'm sitting here for days now, from morning till night, in that freezing room, freezing. Everybody was freezing in there. And all for this, and this is your result. Look at that, each one of them is story. And it's very unfair, very bad thing. Very bad thing, the whole world is watching this hoax. Just months after, by the way, being found liable of committing sexual assault. What are you seeing in terms of the liability for President Trump with the cases that are still in the future? Well, look, um, as you know, I do focus groups with swing voters and voters across the political spectrum every week. And one of the things that we could see is that because Donald Trump has so many charges against him, there are so many different cases, uh, the voters are having difficulty kind of you know, teasing them out, understanding the difference. Mm -hmm. And because this one right now, basically because it contains the word porn star in the description, sometimes voters uh, take it less seriously than they do some of the ones that we aren't sure whether or not will actually come to trial uh, before the election. And so what we wanted to do with the ad is really underscore that Donald Trump's level of legal liability, this guy couldn't get a job at the local mall. <laughs> Right. The idea that he, you know, a fast food restaurant wouldn't hire him with his record. And so the idea that we would make him president of the United States again, like we get numb to it. Right. We get sort of numb to who Donald Trump is. And because it's always so much, it's so many charges, it's so many, uh, you know, felonies. It's easy to just let it wash over you. But we really wanted to underscore this is crazy. Uh, and, and mm -hmm. you know, the idea that we would give this man access to classified documents again after the way that he handled classified documents, refused to give them back. I mean, there's just so many things about what we have seen from his behavior since he has been president. I'm not talking about even the person we saw uh, who was president, but what we know about him since uh, he left office uh, that absolutely right. is disqualifying. And I think that because there's a numbness 
to voters because you've got sort of two functional incumbents running against each other. People are sort of depressed by uh, just sort of seeing a rerun of 2020. You do have to start showing people just how crazy this is. We're going to have to have new ways sort of wake people up to right. the insanity of all this. So yeah, disgraceful, but not surprising. I was, I was wondering if you guys are hiring right now. I was thinking about applying for a job. Yeah, I was um, thinking about uh, applying for a job here. I'm currently facing 88 felonies. I'm currently facing 88 felonies for detention of classified information. Do you all take people that have been found liable for sexual assault? Trying to overturn the 2020 election? Falsifying business records? Uh, I was wondering if that was going to be a, be a problem. Do you think working with diamonds and jewelry They're going to do a background check? Yeah. So that's the only... They're probably not. Yeah. So do you guys hire people that sexually assault other people or... Yeah. So we want to fall back around. Okay. No, we don't. I don't think so. Okay. Donald Trump has been charged with 88 felonies and found liable for sexual assault. If Trump is too big of a liability to get a job at your local mall, he is too big of a liability to be president of the United States.